Hey friends, it's your girl Tina, Her Life Sparkles. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking all things Cricut. Huge thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this video. I am a huge, huge fan and I'm so excited to share my Cricut Explore 3 with you. Um, if you're unfamiliar, Cricut is a craft cutting machine that you can use for a ton of products in your everyday life. Um, and the Cricut machine itself can cut so many different material types. I'm talking hundreds. Anything from wood to vinyl to even leather, the Cricut can cut it. And what I love most about Cricut is that it is very beginner friendly. It comes with a free software called Design Space that is filled with tutorials to help you learn how to use it, as well as templates that you can use to create your design, or you can freestyle your own designs in the Design Space before you send them to your machine to cut. And truly the sky is the limit for what you can make with your Cricut machine. You can make doormats, you can make labels for your pantry or your refrigerator, and you can even customize things like water bottles or t-shirts um, for like yourself or your children. And that's kind of what I did today. I'm using my Cricut Explore 3 to customize some water bottles and soccer jerseys for Zoe and Luke. It was my goal in life to grow up, get married, have kids, just so that I could spend my Saturdays having to get up at 6 a.m. to go to soccer games. And the only thing worse than getting up that early on a Saturday is having those two fight over what jersey and what gear belongs to who. They play for a soccer club, the jerseys look exactly alike, and they aren't quite at the age where they will have their names on the back. So I use my Cricut to do that myself. And this is what Luke's look like. As you can see, their jerseys are very plain. They just have the lead crest on the front, but like no name, no number, no nothing. So it's very easy to just look at this t-shirt and be like, well, who does that belong to? So this is Luke's. And then this is Zoe. I put Zoe girl on the back because that's what I call her. My Zoe girl. And then their water bottles are done as well. They're kind of twinny, but just a soccer, just a soccer ball, which I got um, from a template in the Cricut um, design space and then their name. So they know which bottle belongs to who and hope it keeps our fussing to a minimum in the morning so that we can get out of the door just a little bit easier. Now, without further ado, let's show you how I made this. Of course, I started in the design space software. I knew I wanted some type of soccer ball or soccer image. So I searched through the images that they had and the soccer ball was really perfect. So I added that to my project and then I simply typed in Luke's name. And once I picked the font that I loved, I just duplicated it so that I would have the same thing for Zoe's water bottle. Next, it was time to send it to cut. It gives you prompts to add your smart vinyl to your cutter, and then you press the button for it to start. I do also have the Cricut roll holder, which I think is super convenient. Um, it keeps the roll in place from falling all over the floor um, just for precision during your cutting process. And I love that it has the trimmer feature so that once your machine is done cutting, you can trim the piece exactly where you need it so that you can go ahead and get ready to apply it to your project. Next, I used a pair of my Cricut tweezers to help me remove the negative space from the vinyl and the backing. That way, I am just left with the actual pieces of vinyl that I will be applying to the water bottle. Um, and everything else is just considered waste at this point. And I also had to use the tweezers to actual pick out the design of the soccer ball or, or else it just looks like one big circle. Then I cut the transfer tape because that's what I'm actually gonna use to pick up the soccer ball off the backing and place it onto the water bottle. And it's actually easier to do than it sounds. <laughs> you just lay the transfer tape over the, the design, use a scraper, to just make sure that it's actually stuck to the transfer tape. Then you pick it up off the backing and place it onto the water bottle. I'm like a giant sticker. <laughs> and then once it's on the water bottle, you want to use the scraper again, just to make sure that the transfer is fully complete so that you don't rip or snag or tear your design as you're pulling the transfer tape off. And then I'm just gonna repeat that same process for his name using the scraper to make sure that the pickup or the transfer is smooth and then place it onto the water bottle. And just like that, 
Luke's water bottle. It is done. How cute is this? Oh, he's going to love it. To do their jerseys, I went back to the Design Space app and I just used one of their baseball t-shirt templates just so that it can give me an idea of the sizing and the space that I had to work with for a shirt. And then I used the Easy Press 3 to iron it on. Using the Cricut Easy Press 3 is really simple. It actually connects to a smart app on your phone. Um, you choose the material, so I chose a t-shirt. And then of course I'm using the Iron On Smart Vinyl and it tells you exactly what temperature to set it to and how long to leave the press on for each side. So you do it for about, for this one I did it for about 30 seconds um, with the design face up. And then I flipped it over and did it for another 30 seconds with the design face down just to make sure that it's on there really good and then once you allow it to cool you can go ahead and peel the the, the shiny cover off so that you can see your design and just like that we're done i think the entire project took me less than 20 minutes okay so that is all i have for this video huge thank you to cricut once again for sponsoring this I would love to know down in the comments if you already have a Cricut or if this video has convinced you that you need to get one for yourself. I am personally super impressed with the way these water bottles turned out and I think that I might need to start my own Etsy shop. <laughs> no, but I am super excited about the next couple of projects that I'm going to be using my Cricut to do. I'm going to be making some um, invitations for our upcoming housewarming party as well as organizing our pantry. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye.